After a couple of pages of our history, I think it's time to introduce myself. I'm Mauro. My purpose is to try showing all those subtleties that we find when traveling in a somewhat more narrative way, like those travel stories from other times. In short, in the middle of this green maze, it is easy to get lost. Let's focus. We are still in Otranto and I'm looking for Elena and some friends who are already in the Bay of the Turks. This is perhaps the place you should not miss if you come to the hill of the Italian boot. Finally, I'm finding the entrance and I don't think twice about entering the water. Reading on the beach is not an easy thing, but seeing my friend with her book activates my only superpower, imagination. I close my eyes and for just a moment I can see the fortifications of Otranto prepare for the assault. The Turkish sails, remains of destroyed ships, the ground, even chainmail, iron against iron, fire. And from the sky, there are thousands of points aligned, like ants in formation ready for combat, one army against another, two opposing realities, a big crash and then silence. Finally, I catch up with Elena to tell her about my adventures around Turks Bay. She shakes her head and smiles. It is curious how some believe that they could take away the light and others that they could obtain it by force. I sincerely believe that the light cannot be taken from you, nor can you obtain it externally, but I guess that this is part of another story. <laughs>